Reggie, my body is ready, fils the president of Nintendo of America, in case you're wondering. Why is he called my body is ready? <laughs> uh, it's an old, it's, it's a meme where uh, I forget what game they were demoing at E3, but they were just like, Reggie, are you ready? And he just goes, my body is ready. <laughs> so it's just really cringeworthy, but mm. it's it's a meme now. Um, so, <laughs> how do you do, fellow kids? <laughs> Have you not seen that? No. Oh, okay, that's another. That's another meme. Anytime someone tries to relate to like a culture that's like younger than they are, there's a GIF of like a character from Thirty Rock going, "How do you do, fellow kids?" And it's like this old guy with like a skateboard. Oh my gosh! <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> so um, he was interviewed recently. And um, one of the questions that came up during the interview was in regards to a possible Nintendo 64 classic. And here's what he had to say. The question was, would you rule out an N64 classic coming? Reggie said, I would never ever rule something out, but what I can tell you is certainly that's not on our planned horizon. Um, I do believe he went on to further say in the uh, in the interview that uh, the <clears throat> basically the NES and the Super NES classics were more uh, of a stopgap in between of the Wii U and the Switch. Um, but the yeah, the classic the Super NES came out after the Switch. Indeed, you are correct. <laughs> okay, the, and uh, and then well and and also. To that point, the revised uh, Nintendo NES Classic came out once yeah. the Switch had been out for a while. So that is kind of an odd thing to say. Really, that would only apply to the original run of yeah. the NES Classic. So not making a whole lot of sense there. Well, that's disappointing. My um, my body was ready for a um, 64 Classic. Yeah. So. Now, yeah. Now I'm disappointed. And I mean, it, it's kind of it's it's hard to to kind of you know really believe exactly what he was saying. What what I don't understand is, um, why would they turn down an opportunity if if he if he's telling the truth here? I mean, like they created the demand with the NES yeah. and, and 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 Super NES. This is even why we're getting. <clears throat> Things like a PlayStation Classic. They did a Commodore 64 Classic. Uh, there's a Kickstarter out there right now, I think, for a PC Classic. I mean, there's so there's all these like plug and plays. And yes, I know Nintendo did not invent the plug and play, but they certainly made it like super popular. Everyone's aware of these things now. They're not just you know bad Atari games on on something you find in, in Walgreens. To me, it's like the stage was set to just like capitalize off of that right i mean just keep it keep it going for as long as you can i mean i don't as long as it's possible to do on the console i I do think once you get in when you get to start doing the gamecube uh, you're gonna get into a point where it's gonna be too expensive to be an impulse buy right well and and like my thing is you're finally to the game, the PlayStation that has Ocarina of Time and Mario 64 on it. Like the, the people, Nintendo console with yeah, those games. People would yeah. see that and they'd be like, um, yeah. yes, please. And I did think like, well, there there are a lot of there's gonna be a lot of trouble getting a game like Goldeneye on there because it was developed by Rare, but who even owns the rights to that game to that game? Yeah. Maybe Electronic Arts, maybe not. And then you have all the likenesses of, of the actors where they have to like renegotiate some kind mm. of licensing deal with them. Okay, fine. You, you don't get Goldeneye. You don't get that one game. I mean, There's I'm, still yeah. plenty of games you can put on there. Ocarina of Time, six, Mario 64, like that's like an instant sell. So, uh, for most Mario people. Mario Kart 64. Yeah. Star Fox 64. I mean Majora's Mask. Like, there's just... I mean, apparently people like it. Pe- people do yeah. like it, believe it or not. <laughs> people didn't like it when it first came out. And then, like, YouTube came along, and all of a sudden it, w- it became, like, the darling of the Zelda they jumped on that, but that bandwagon. Indeed. So, yeah, I just... I, I do kind of feel like that's... It's so strange that they were the ones that got this party rolling. Yeah. With those two systems. Um... Oh, and, and here's another point. Like, 
Okay, with the Switch online service, he also talked about that in the interview, like basically like, you know, hey, if you want to play older Nintendo games, just get the Nintendo Switch online service. Well, no, because that's something that you have to continuously pay for. You can't just buy the games right. a la carte and then they get downloaded to your system. I think your system has <clears throat> to, I, I might be wrong with this, in fact, I'm probably wrong on this, but I think your system has to connect to the internet every 24 hours hmm. for you to continue to have access to those nes games they're nes games guys i mean come on yeah you should just get all of them just for paying for the service yeah it, it's kind of crazy i mean they're 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 not worth anything anymore so that's kind of weird um and on top of that they're only doing nes games mm-hmm. i think later on in the interview he the, he was asked like well super nintendo games nintendo 64 games are they coming and he just basically said stay tuned like we already have an nes classic no one's no one's lining right. up to get those nes games on the switch right we have an you nes classic you don't get a switch to play nes games this is something that the wii and the wii u are doing a lot better than the switch yeah. is like they had virtual consoles on them the wii u virtual console is still wide open you can mm-hmm. you can get games the 3ds virtual console is uh wide open and you could download games on it so i just don't understand like okay so you're not you're you created the demand with these classic systems. You're not meeting the demand with the Switch the way that you're going about doing that. And now you're saying no plans to have a Nintendo 64 Classic. Why? Yeah. Hey, at least he didn't rule it out. Maybe one day his body will be ready for it. Yeah, but I do think if they were if they were actually going to be doing it then, he would he would not be so definitive in his answer. Yeah. So, my point is, Nintendo, you should do it. You, yeah. you just should do it. Yeah, it's kind of disappointing, but if if you're watching this on YouTube, let us know in the comments. Are you disappointed? Or... Did you not want a Nintendo Switch yeah. for Classic anyway? <laughs> I mean, what's the alternative there? True. 